this better? I don't think I do. I'm unhappy with my room. I've tried switching it up. I don't like it. I've been letting myself like live in it for a minute. I was hoping it would kind of like, you know, grow on me in some kind of way. It hasn't. So I think the inevitable has happened. I think I have to put my room back the way I had it originally, which is something that a lot of you guys have been saying I should just do. I'm really tired, but I think I might do that today. She's back to how we had her. Feels good, it feels right. So now coming into the room, we have the dresser as per usual, the chair we have back in its proper corner. <laughs> we brought the bookshelf back to the side of the bed. I moved the dog stairs back to the side of the bed. The only thing I did different this time is I put this mirror in this corner and I had it tilted on this wall, you know, just to change it up a little bit. I put it in the corner and I kind of, I kind of like it. I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna stay this way. I just want some change, I guess. The mirror used to be right here. So it is kind of nice having this open walkway, especially with the stairs here to be able to climb into bed. That is the room update. Something I have been thinking about for a while now is getting a desk for inside of my room. I've already told you guys, but the desk that we had in our office, we've moved into the workout room and we're planning on getting rid of them. I have, a magnificent desktop computer that I haven't been able to use because the room's just a wreck and my desk is a wreck and it's holding a bunch of PR stuff and it's kind of all over the place, but I would love to utilize that computer. Now I'm thinking of adding another piece of furniture into this room, which means something has to go. I'm assuming it's going to be the bookshelf because I don't see how I can have the bookshelf and the desk at the same time. I did find a really cute desk that is like a bookshelf. It's very minimal. It comes in white and black, but uh, I don't really know yet. But I'm thinking that since the desk is similar to a bookshelf, I could just get rid of this bookshelf and make this the desk situation. I don't know. I haven't fully decided yet. You guys need to calm me down a little bit. I've been going crazy with room stuff, but I haven't purchased anything in a really long time for my room, so I think the last thing I got was this dresser, which was mm, probably like a year ago. So, you know, maybe it's time. So I was super excited for today because Tara and Alicia are both gone, which means I have the whole house to myself. I was gonna go do a bunch of errands and get a bunch of stuff done, but evidently Alicia's car is blocking my car and she left with her keys. So I'm stuck home. <laughs> she said that there is a spare key somewhere in the house and I spent a good a good half hour like rummaging through her room and the glam room and the garage and you know all the other places looking through bags and backpacks trying to find it it's nowhere to be found so i am i'm stuck here uh, i'm reevaluating what i'm doing today i am flying some stuff for lunch and yeah i i guess i'm just gonna have a work day here it was supposed to be an errands day and taking you guys with me that's why i had to make my coffee here I was gonna go get one at Blue Bottle, which technically I could walk because it's so close, but it's just been too hot lately. It's been way too hot and I'm not about to do that to myself. So, work day it is. Not me shopping online for a desk. The problem is there's so many to choose from. There's like some with desks, which I feel like I would prefer because I need some kind of like storage space. Right now I feel like I don't have any. For random things like pens, paper. I have this bag that I got from base a while ago and I love it. This is my absolute favorite work bag. It's like a giant, giant tote 
um, but it has all the compartments for like your laptop and stuff like that. Since we got rid of the desk, I've just been keeping all of my things in that bag and taking the bag up to my room or taking the bag down here, which has been great. And this table is fantastic for team meetings and when people are over. But when I'm just editing <laughs> and I don't have anyone with me helping me, I don't need all of this. I need like a workspace. So I'm looking at a couple options. Wayfair has a wider one and it has drawers. It's black, which I like a lot. It might be a little too big, like too wide for the wall space because I'm trying to put it right where the bookshelf is. West Elm has a much smaller one, but I think it might be too small. I would love to be able to have my desktop there, but then also have a little room to put my laptop and books and a little space. Both of them have two shelves on top, which is nice. And then again, they're both ladders. So the Wayfair one is like drilled into the wall. The West Elm one kind of leans against the wall. Pros and cons to that. And then CB2 has an a very minimal one. And this bad boy has like no drawers, no nothing. It's just one shelf for the computer and then two shelves on top. I don't know what I'm gonna do here, to be very honest. Also, I think I'm gonna have to measure things. Ugh, I, I think I need Alicia's opinion. I might have to wait on this. Also, it's just more money. It's gonna be even more expensive. I'm not made of money. Which is a perfect segue for today's sponsor. Today's video is once again sponsored by Upstart. Upstart is a fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether you're paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses like a desk, over half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. Unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income and current employment to find a smarter rate for your loan. And I personally love Upstart because you can receive loans as fast as one business day after being accepted for your loan. So find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today by going to upstart.com forward slash Ashley. And don't forget to use my URL in the description box to let them know that I sent you. Again, guys, one last time, go to upstart.com slash Ashley. Back to the vlog. everything on my list for work today, which is very exciting. I also cleaned the kitchen, did some laundry, got some parallel work done, which was very exciting. I am stoked because it's only 3.30. This happens sometimes and I'm living for it. All I have left today is therapy at four and something that I like to do, not every single time, but just every once in a while. This has happened more recently for me. I've been going to therapy for a while. It's been over a year, more like a year and a half. And I've started noticing that I blank on what I wanna talk about with her. 
I went in with a very specific focus and obviously as time goes on, new things come into your life, things come out of your life. I felt like last time my brain was kind of all over the place and I wasn't really sure what I was trying to say or get across to her. And that's normal and that happens. However, the last couple times I have intentionally sat down beforehand and kind of journaled or just jotted down my thoughts how my week was ups from that week and downs from that week and that's really helped me to kind of like consolidate my thinking process so that by the time I sit down with her I'm very much like okay here's what I want to talk about this is my new favorite thing to do and I highly recommend it if you guys go to therapy and you also feel like you're a little scatterbrained definitely try journaling or jotting down some notes. It could be in a journal, it could be on your computer, it doesn't matter, you could throw it away afterwards. Um, this is just to help me get my thoughts out on paper. So the wildest thing just happened. One of my plans today, prior to realizing that I was stuck in the house and had no car, was to go to Bath and Body Works because one of the most basic things about myself is every fall and winter. I go to Bath and Body Works and I go hard. I obviously was not able to go because Alicia blocked me in. So I was just like, oh, I'll go rummage through our candle cabinet because yes, I have a candle cabinet and I'll find a candle to light that smells a little more folly because I knew I had some in the back. I found a leaves candle from last year. And I now remember specifically hiding this because I was like, I can't use it until next fall. It's just tradition. It is what it is. So I tucked it in the back and genuinely forgot about it. And I'm so excited because it's September and I can officially light this. start acting weird when they're hungry. Jumping around, cosmo ruckus. So it's the next day and it has been a full day. Worked all morning, just got back from an event, threw a sweatshirt on, hydrating. The event was good, it was fun, but um, I was distracted a little bit because I have been meaning to do something for a while and I still haven't done it. It is now six o'clock. Ish. I'm tired, but I think I need to do this for sanity's sake because it has been nagging me in the back of my head for quite some time now. And I'm gonna show you guys. You guys already know that I consider myself to be a very organized and clean person. I'm showing you guys the deepest, darkest, most embarrassing part of me right now. This is the current state of my closet. Um, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. All of this right here is clean. Like they're clean clothes, I've done laundry. I just genuinely have nowhere to hang them, nowhere to fold them. Even my dresser is full. You guys remember how I organized this? This stuffed with sports bras, stuffed with sports bras. Way too many leggings for any one person to wear. Clearly I just acquire way too much clothes. I, you know, don't have enough storage space in my room to hold all those things. And if I continue to acquire clothes, then I'm gonna have to get rid of some. So I think what I'm gonna do now is a very aggressive and harsh cutting out of a lot of the things in my closet. There's a lot of things I just haven't worn in a really long time. There's a lot of dresses that, you know, I thought I was gonna wear and I just didn't because what was I thinking buying that? And then I also have a lot of just event stuff that I got <laughs> at the top of 2020 and now I'm like, is it out of style? P probably. I think I'm going to deep clean my closet. I honestly just completely forgot about these baskets under my dresser. I don't even know, I don't even know what's in here which probably means that I should just dump the whole thing out, but I feel like I should go through it. This basket is a trip. It's a ton of like black leather fringe stuff, which is clearly a bunch of Coachella stuff that, you know, I have worn in the past and haven't worn in forever. Chloe. <laughs> Can we have it quiet on set? Chloe, quiet on set. Anyways, this is ridiculous.
look at this giant pile of clothes. I don't even think you realize like how big this pile is. It's massive. I am very excited and stoked to be getting rid of all of these things. I'm not committing to actually cleaning and organizing my closet or dresser right now. I'm just getting rid of this stuff. Maybe I will clean and organize that in another vlog. I just don't have time for that right now. It's already seven. I was gonna do 20 minutes. I was gonna do 20 minutes and I ended up going for an hour because there was just, there's just so much stuff. <sighs> I need a glass of wine.